the equilibrium of the 62 G is masculine at rest. If you think that you handle the interpretation, stop the video now and then continue to see if we have the same conclusion. We are going to begin with the frequency. If the next bit would have been here, it would be 300 over 1. If the next bit would have been here, it would be 300 over 2. If the next bit would have been here, it would be 300 over 3. If the next bit would have been here, it would be 300 over 4. And it's here, so it's 300 over 5. Um, so it's 60. Um, it's a little less of 60, so it's bradycardia. Now the real, um, the P has to be positive in D1, D2, D3, and ABF, and negative in ABR, and it is, so the rhythm is sinus rhythm, and also because the morphology of the P is the same in all the bits of the same derivation. The axis of the QRS is in D1 because the derivation which is more isoelectric is ABF, and AB of CD1 is 90 degrees from ABF. Now the hypertrophy of the right ventricle is that the R of V1 has to be greater than DS, and it is not, and, or the R in V1 has to be greater than 7 small squares, which is 0.7 millivolt. And the so here is no right ventricle hypertrophy. The hypertrophy of the left ventricle is the S of V1 plus the R of V5 or V6, the one who is greater, um, it has to be less than 3.5 millivolts, so it's like 10, like 10 and a half, plus um, 10 and 2 is 12, so it's 22.5 millivolts, which is 2.25, oops, see, it was 22.5 millimeters, which is 2.25 millivolts. Now the right um, atrium hypertrophy is that the P in D2, D3, and ABF, has to be smaller than 0.25 millivolt. Here is like 0.15, like between 0.15 and 0.2. Um, here is like 0.1. Here is also like 0.1. So there is no right atrium hypertrophy. The left atrium hypertrophy is that the width of the PN in D2 it has to be less than 0.12 seconds, which is three small squares, so here is like two and a half, which is 0.1 um, seconds. Here is maybe like two or a, a little more, so it's like 0 0.08, so it's less than 0.12 seconds, so there is no left atrium hypertrophy. Now the ischemia, the T wave has to be concave and asymmetrical, like here, this the curvature is concave and it is asymmetrical. Here two, here two, and here two. Um, the hyperacute T is that the T in the link lead it has to be less than 0.5 millivolts. So um, this is less because 0.5 millivolts it would be here. Um, this is also less than 0.5 millivolts because 0.5 it would be here. And in the precordial leads it has to be less than one millivolt. So um, um, if the T would be here, it would be 1 millivolt, so it's less. Um, this um, 1 millivolt would be here, and it's not, so there is no hyperacute T. Now, the concordance of the T wave with the QRS. Here the QRS is positive, and the T wave is positive, so this limb is concordant. Now, here the T wave and the QRS also are both positive, and so this lead is concordant. Here the case is negative, and the T wave is positive, so this is discordant. In ABR, the QRS is negative, and the T wave is negative, so this is concordant. In ABL, the T is positive, and the QRS is positive, so this is concordant. Um, ABF is like it's electric, so we can't know. V1, V2, and V3 have the T wave positive, which have the T wave positive, and the Harris um, is more negative, so these leads are discordant, but in these leads that is allowed. 
B4, B5 and B6 has the T wave positive and the QR is positive, so these three leads are concordant. Now the Q wave, the Q wave has to be less than 0.1 millivolt in depth and 0.04 seconds, um, less than that. So this Q is obviously less than 0.04 um, seconds and the basal line is like in the in in this line a little more up and the Q wave don't don't it is not touching the this line which is um, 0.1 millivolt under the big line and it is more upper than which is this so this is not 0.1 millivolt. Um, D2 has no Q, nor D3, because here is an initial R. In ABA, this Q wave is not 0.04 seconds, it is less, and the basal line is like 0.05, or just a little bit more, um, um, up than the um, big line, and so this is touching the big line, so it is less than 0.1 millivolt, like 0.05 or 0.5 millivolts or 0.05 millivolts or 0.075. Here the Q wave is less than 0.04 seconds, and in depth is like 0.05 millivolts. B1, B2, and B3 have no Q. Um, in ABR, um, here is the Q because um, ABR is a derivation which is um, between D1 and D2, but um, um, 180 degrees after that. So ABR is, um, is like the opposite, so here this would be an R, but ABR is like the inverse, so this is a Q. And it's less than 0 0.04 seconds in Y and it's like 0 0.05 millivolts. In before, there is almost no Q, so it is obviously don't um, more than 0 0.1 millivolts in depth and is less than 0 0.04 seconds. Um, B5, um, the Q is like 0 0.05 millivolts and is less than 0 0.04 seconds in Y. In B6, it is obviously less than 0 .04, 0 0.04 seconds, and it is less than 0 0.1 millivolt, because the basal line is one below the big line, and this Q wave, it is not touching this line, which is two um, point. 0 0.2, no, 0 0.2 millivolt above the big, um, below the big line, so it is not 0 0.1 um, millivolt um, below the basal line, it is less, so it is a normal Q wave. Um, the U wave um, has to be less than one fourth of the T, um, so here the T measures like 0 0.75, and the T wave is like like three and a half plus one is four point five, so the U wave is less than um, one fourth of the T wave. Um, here the U wave is like point one millivolt, and this T wave is like is like four and a half small square, and here is like two. It is like point sixty five millivolts, so it is yes, obviously. The U wave is less than one fourth of the T wave. Um, the Y of the QRS it has to be less than 0 0.12 seconds, which is three small squares. So um, here in D2 is like like um, like two small squares, which is 0 0.08 seconds. Um, here in D3 is like one and a half, so that is 0 0.06 seconds. Um, there is no right bundle branch block because B1 don't ha, don't, doesn't have the R prima because if 
if we have right bundle branch block in V1, it looks like R, S, R prima, and so we don't have another R, we don't have that R prima, so, um, and in V6, we don't have A S or A wide S, so there is no right bundle branch block. The left bundle branch block is um, V5 and V6 has no Q, which is not, they have Q, and the morphology of the QRS is like an M, and um, which is not, so there is no left bundle branch block. Now we're going to see the ST segment elevation or depression in the J point. This is the J point, the point in which the R or the S finishes. This is isoelectric with the basal line. Here also, and here also. This is the J point, and this is the basal line, so it is electric. Here in ABL is also isoelectric. See isoelectric in ABS is isoelectric in V1 it is maybe elevated like 0 0.05 millivolts in V2 it is elevated between 0 0.05 and 0.1 millivolts and in V3 it is almost like 0.1 millivolt in V4 is like 0 0.05 millivolts elevated V5 is isoelectric and V6 is isoelectric, so there is no ST segment depression or elevation. And here we have a bit that is very different to the previous one, and the QRS is very wide, is horrible, and is obviously more than 0.12 seconds, and there is no V wave, so we know that. This bit comes from the ventricle. Um, so this is a normal ECG with bradycardia because the frequency is a little less than 60 and they have ventricular extrasystole. See you in the next electrocardiogram.